Previous to installing the robots, we were running a 400 cow dairy farm with a herringbone shed. We were spending a long time in the shed and we were having to employ people and really we just were not getting any enjoyment out of that and neither were the cows. If we hadn't put in the robots, we wouldn't be dairy farming now. We'd had totally had enough of um, all the grief and stress and that, that's you know what we really just like about the robots. It's just given us freedom, it's taken the stress away and it's, it's an entirely different lifestyle and more user friendly for the next generation. We didn't want our kids to end up stuck in a herringbone shed. We found the uh, farm management support from Laylee to be really good, especially when we were starting up and when we really needed it. They were there and they were there to answer questions. If they weren't physically on farm, then they would be logging in to help with, you know, maybe some something we didn't understand in a report or whatever. But yeah, they were just right on the job and plenty of advice, not just robotic advice, but also general farming advice as it pertains to a robotic system. And um, we've, we've noticed a big difference since we've um, gone to automatic milking. Um, different costs, reduced costs, um, you know, it's slightly bigger feed bill, virtually no labour bill, and um, the servicing costs are pretty minimal really. I think that it's probably lower than what we used to spend on the herringbone shed. So um, in terms of the finances, I think really our, our robots have already paid for themselves. So, and you know, we're looking to upgrade this coming winter. I think in terms of production, my cows have, since we've put in the robots, um, have increased 15 to 20% each year. This year they're up 10% at the moment, um, but we have gone to um, split calving. So we're calving oh, about 120 in January, February, and the rest are calved in spring. So we might get more than a 10% increase this year, um, it, but yeah, we'll just see. Well, I think possibly the most important KPIs that I'm looking at, especially in the spring is actually rumination because I, I, you really have to know what's happening with those cows. Um, production's important, but your cows have got to be healthy and uh, that rumination is a key point. I'm also quite interested in milking speed and treatment time because um, you, know, slow, you don't want slow milkers in an automatic milking system. Eventually you see that a good cow is waiting behind a slow milker and you think, well, she's got to go. With um, automatic milking, I don't think you do lose contact with your cows. Um, they tend to be friendlier. They're, there's nobody chasing them, beating them with a stick, after them with a motorbike. So they become very extra relaxed and they're more likely to come up for a pat than in a conventional system. I, I think in the medium to long term, automatic milking will be the solution for New Zealand farmers. Um, you know, they've already got labour issues. Any, any amount of stress, people are wanting to get out of dairy farming because they're just stressed to the max. And um, while there might be more, a, a greater outlay on day one when you buy your robots, the payback is certainly faster than a conventional system. Our, our next um, expansion, I guess, or change is um, we've purchased four A5 robots, which will replace our A4s. There's nothing wrong with our A4s, but the A5s have a few extra features and we'll be able to start depreciating from a higher figure again, so that does appeal to us. Well really, in dairy farming, the two best things we ever did, one was buy those Jersey cows, which I love, and the other best thing we did was actually put in robots, because that has just given us so much choice, so much freedom, and yeah, we'd, we'd do it all again. <laughs>